a seat, you guys. Have a seat. You guys ready to get the show started, Economy Cube? Yeah. Give it for Mr. Franklin. Yee! Thanks a lot. Keep it going for Franklin. You keep it going for Franklin. You guys, come on now. Let's go. Show some love, Franklin. Yee! All right. How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, cool. I don't want to brag or anything, but last month I lost 20 pounds, guys. It's because I'm the worst drug dealer ever. <laughs> My boss was like, Frank, you ruined the business, man. There is no more product. <laughs> hey, ain't it crazy, guys, how um, hand sanitizer is like the new cocaine? <laughs> right? Some uh, after you hand sanitizer, you'd be like, I'll take a bump. Yeah. <laughs> Meet me in the bathroom in five minutes. <laughs> But there's always that guy that's like bougie, right? He's like, how pure is it? <laughs> is it 99? He's like, of course it's 99. Of course it's 99. <laughs> Who here got the vaccine? <laughs> oh, good thing I got the vaccine. Shit. <laughs> I got the second shot in March, and let me tell you something. That shit hits like Hennessy. <laughs> oh, man, it messed me up so bad. Messed me up bad. Um, my mom's worried about the brands. She's like, I don't know about Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson. She was like, I'll just wait next year when Kirkland comes out with one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could always trust Costco, guys. <laughs> if Costco sold crack, you know it's good crack. <laughs> like, they use good ingredients. It's pure ingredients right there, man. Oh man, um, I'm Korean, yeah. but I was, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Korean right here. I was born in China though. Town, Chinatown. <laughs> There's a lot of these Chinatowns in here. Every, every state, every state. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm, not that good, I'm not a good Korean. I can't speak Korean, yeah. I can't speak my own language. And if you guys know Koreans, they don't like that. <laughs> They're very prideful people, you know? They created Hyundais and Kias, you know? <laughs> Whenever Korean people find out I can't speak my own language, they get very upset. They're like, how come you don't know how to speak your own language? What are you, a sellout? And I tell them, you don't know me, man, all right? I can't speak Korean because my parents died in the war. I was adopted by white people. I wasn't really. <laughs> it's just a great excuse. It worked from 2010 to like 2015. And the reason why it doesn't work no more is because of this kid named Kyle that I met in my neighborhood. He's eight years old. He's Korean, raised by white people. Speaks and reads Korean fluently. I was like, who taught you how to speak Korean, Kyle? He's like, my parents. I was like, but they're Caucasian. He's like, I know, Korean's not that hard, you dumbass. <laughs> I was like, shut up, Kyle. That's why your parents gave you up for adoption. <laughs> He's like, you're still a dumbass. <laughs> My dad gets upset about that. He's like, how come you don't know how to speak Korean? I was like, how come you don't know how to speak English? So we're both meeting in the middle and we're learning Italian. <laughs> uh, no, man. I like you guys. You guys are very nice, all right? <laughs> Last show I did was in a parking lot, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's honking horns like, what the fuck, man? Get off the road. <laughs> You're ruining everything, man. You're ruining everything. Yeah, you guys are great, man. Oh, man. I hate when people tell me things that aren't true. It pisses me off, you know? Right? Like, I hate when people say, um, if you drive a fancy sports car, it's because you have a small penis. That's not true. Because I drive a Toyota. Yeah. My, my dad's like, I have a big penis, and I drive a Toyota, which means I'm adopted. 
My real dad drives a Porsche. Dude. It's crazy. A Porsche is like 80 to 100 grand plus maintenance. That's another 20 grand. If I had that much money, I'd just buy a new dick. And the Prius, right? Because I got to go green. Gas prices are pretty expensive in LA. Yeah, I live in the valley. I drove here, got a full tank. All it cost me was my stimulus check. Yeah. Another thing that pisses me off is when people say, um, you eat dog, you know? Like, all Asians eat dogs. You know? That pisses me off, you know? Like, they, like, they assume I eat dog. It gets me very upset. Because that's a rich Asian thing to do. I'm a poor Asian. We don't eat dog in my house. We eat imitation dog. Nah. You guys heard of white trash? Yellow trash right here. Oh, man. My parents hate me. They can't stand me. They want nothing to do with me. I think it's because I'm 36 years old and I still live at home with them. Worst part is, this joke is four years old. A lot of you people are like, fuck that. Get the fuck out. Yeah. A lot of my friends are like, Frank, why don't your parents just kick you out? And I tell them they can't. Because my parents are Korean. And Korean parents aren't allowed to do certain things. Like, they can't kick you out, no matter how old you are. And they have to buy everything, Samsung, no matter how bad they want a Sony. <laughs> my mom wanted to talk about Rent. I was like, yes, Rent's a great musical. <laughs> Fantastic musical. Let's talk about Cats tomorrow. <laughs> my dad's like, what's going to happen when me and your mom die? You're going to be homeless. I was like, no, I'm going to be a homeowner. <laughs> no. First thing I'm going to do is gut the house, grow some weed. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time right there. I like this out here, my name right here. It's pretty cool, man. I feel like a WWE wrestler. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> uh, growing up, my parents wanted me to be a doctor. No, not me, though. I wanted to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. They're like, you want to be a wrestler? I was like, no, I want to be a beer drinking son of a bitch, all right? <laughs> and my dad, uh, he got back at me during quarantine, guys. He did. See, you know what he did? He turned my room into his office. <laughs> There's other rooms in the house. He just wanted my room. <laughs> That's why I'm not there right now, guys. It's office hours. <laughs> Man. Man. I'm the only guy I know that has to make an appointment just to take a nap in his own room. <laughs> my buddy saw me sleeping in my car. He's like, Frank, you live in your car? I was like, yes, on weekdays from 9 to 5. <laughs> oh, man. Um, a lot of people are buying guns, and um, I'm not buying guns, okay, guys? I'm against guns because the lines are too long. Especially longer for bullets. It's so long for bullets, too, man. Like, just, I hate long lines, you know? And I told my dad that. And I was like, what, what am I going to do? Someone robs me with a gun. And he's like, don't worry. I got a plan. So he gave me a samurai sword. <laughs> I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this, man? You know, if he robs me with a gun, he's like, kill yourself. <laughs> he's like, it's better to go out with honor than to go out like a bitch. <laughs> I was like, you make a good point. You make a good point right there. Uh, my parents named me Franklin after Franklin Roosevelt. Not the president, though. The high school. <laughs> my parents drove by that school. They're like, we like this school. The landscaping's nice. Let's name our second son after it. <laughs> and that's what they did right there. I asked my dad, like, why are you blessing me with such a nerdy name like Franklin? He's like, screw you. I gave you a cool name. My name is Pyung. Yes, Pyung, guys. P and a young, yes. Pyong in Korean means my name sucks. <laughs> it's a very common name in Korea, guys. It's the Bob of all Korean names. <laughs> it 
it's so common that all nine of my dad's brothers and sisters are named Pyong. Yeah, there's a lot of Pyongs in one house, guys. It's like a movie franchise. My grandparents are like the critics. They're like, we like Pyongs one through four. They're the classics, the originals. Five through six, didn't make it, yeah. They were pretty bad. They were so bad, they went straight to DVD. Now, we don't talk about Pyong seven through nine in the house, okay? Because they owe my dad money. I asked my grandparents, like, why do you name all your kids the same first names? And according to my grandpa, it's a tradition in Korea to do that. According to my grandma, there's this nice high school named Pyong right by their house. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, I look like a bright person. I'm not. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. You see, I went to community college for 12 years. <laughs> yes. I didn't know you could leave, all right? Yeah, all my friends left there after two years. They're like, you guys are losers. You know, I'm here for the long haul. I'm dedicated. I'm loyal. When you go to community college for 12 years, you don't get a degree. You become the mascot. I remember my counselor was like, I don't think college is for you. I was like, why would you say that? He's like, because you've been here longer than me. My dad's like, you're a disgrace to Asian people. <laughs> and I want you guys to know something. I am, I am, yeah. <laughs> and there's something weird, too. There, um, there are Asian people that go to community college, guys. They're called high school students. <laughs> Asian parents, they always want you to get A's. Unless your family owns a Chinese restaurant, then B's and C's are okay. <laughs> yeah, if you don't understand that joke, you understand flavor. <laughs> yeah. I bring a B, like on a report card or something like that. They won't even put it on the fridge, but I bring a B to the restaurant right on the window. <laughs> oh yeah, you know that, man. You know that. Uh, I'm in an open relationship, as in I'm open to any relationship. <laughs> Things are pretty rough right now. This is starting to look good to me. <laughs> nah. I've been talking to a beautiful lady for the past month, and um, things are getting serious. Because yeah. she's a debt collector. <laughs> ah, man, yeah. She's always like, how come you never pick up the phone when I call you? I'm like, I'm playing hard to get. Last week, she threatened to take me to court for everything I got. <laughs> I was like, I just met you. What, are we married? <laughs> but luckily, I paid her off, guys. I did. I paid off the whole debt. I feel good about that, too. Yeah, I feel great about that. It was funny, too. She was like, I can't believe you paid me off. And I was like, that's why this relationship never worked, because you don't believe in me. <laughs> I was thinking about buying a 2021 Adi in the year 2035. <laughs> It'll be affordable by then. It'll be affordable by then. Who here banks at Chase Bank? Good, good. Fuck Chase Bank. <laughs> I hate Chase Bank, all right? We don't get along. It's sort of like the Bloods and Crips. Actually, nothing like the Bloods and Crips. I don't know why I say that, yeah. I don't like Chase Bank because every time I make a credit card payment in the bank, they always ask me for my ID, which gets me very upset. Because I'm putting money into the bank. I'm not taking money out. But the bank teller always tells me the same thing. We have to make sure it's your credit card, Mr. Yi. We don't want the wrong person making payments on this credit card. So I was like, so you're telling me that there's just people <laughs> that go out there and steal credit cards and just pay off balances? <laughs> First of all, what's this evil sugar daddy's name? <laughs> oh, yeah. And second, does he do car payments? Because I really want an Audi, all right? 
this one lady saw me do that joke, and she was like, and she worked at Chase Bank too, and she's like, the reason why we ask you that is because we don't want you to launder money. I was like, yes, I pay 20 bucks a month because I work for the cartel, yes. <laughs> calm down, Ozarks, calm down. <laughs> Sometimes I pay $20 a month in rolled quarters. I'm not laundering money, I'm paying with laundry money. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, guys. Uh, my buddy Dante, I saw him, he gave a, a homeless guy 10 bucks. I was like, why did you give him 10 bucks? He's like, because he's poor. I was like, then give me 10 bucks then. <laughs> pretty broke, guys, pretty broke. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm so broke, I had to buy fake Jordans. <laughs> you know what sucks about buying fake Jordans? They're still expensive. <laughs> I was like, you want me to pay 250 for these? And he's like, yes, but they're fire, right? I was like, yeah, you're right, I'll take a pair. <laughs> These Jordans look so good that some guy tried to rob me for them. <laughs> I was at my car, some guy put a gun to me. He's like, give me your Jordans. I was like, you don't want them, man. They're fake. He's like, thanks for telling me that. You're a good guy. <laughs> I was like, I wish I could say the same about you. He's like, give me your wallet and your watch. I'm like, those are fake too. <laughs> He's like, step up with your life, man. Step up with your life. I was like, all right. I was like, you're right. People ask me, what's the difference between fake Jordans and real Jordans? And I'll tell you how you do it. Real Jordans say Jordan on them. Fake Jordans say Michael B. Jordan on them. Yeah. Speaking of Michael B. Jordan, I went to his mansion this summer. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people ask me, did you party there? I was like, no, I did Postmates. Yeah. He tipped me like five bucks. I was so mad. I was like, I just bought your fake Jordans, man. <laughs> you guys are really cool, man. Thanks for everything and stuff like that. And I want to say something. This is really hard. Comedy is hard. You know, it's not easy. You know, it's, you, you do a lot of ups and downs, a lot of bad stuff. And, um, you know, you eat a lot of dicks, okay? <laughs> when you do bad, it's called bombing or you eat dicks. And let me tell you something. I ate a lot of dicks, all right? <laughs> Lots and lots of dicks, yeah, so many dicks, yeah. Yes, thanks for clapping for me at eating dicks, yeah. I have a friend, um, his name's Bobby, he's a gangster, and he wants to be a comic too, but he doesn't want to eat dicks, okay? <laughs> he told me, he's like, hey man, let me be your ghostwriter, Frank. You know, all the greats have ghostwriters. I was like, find better comics, man. <laughs> and he's like, no, trust me, I want to write jokes for you. And I was like, Bobby, you can't write jokes for me, all right? It's not gonna come out, it's gonna come out in like your words, not my words, you know? And, and he's like, trust me, I'll write the jokes from your point of perspective. I was like, it's not gonna work that way, Bobby. He's like, if you don't do these jokes, I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm doing Bobby's jokes right now, guys, okay? <laughs> this is the joke Bobby wrote for me, okay? Okay, um, it's tough being six, seven and black. <laughs> People always assume I have a small penis and I drive a Toyota. <laughs> yeah, it didn't work out well for Bobby, huh? Yeah. Freaking Bobby, man. Okay, I'm gonna leave on this, guys. Uh, people always ask me this question, like, Frank, if you could be any superhero in the world, who would you be? And I tell them, if I could be any superhero in the world, I would be Batman. You know why? Because Batman's a billionaire. First thing I do is I stop being Batman <laughs> and just be a billionaire. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I'm Franklin E. You have a good night. This has been a Funny Media Group production.